Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Morgan and I am the instructor for our Intro to Historical Study class this semester. I wanted to give you a tour of our course in this video, specifically because we will be working not just through Brightspace, but also through a platform called Medium. Um, so in all honesty, our class mostly lives on Medium. Um, and so I'll show you what that means. It will all make a lot more sense here in a few minutes. We will be using platforms uh, besides Medium and Brightspace like Twitter and uh, some Google Forums and Google Docs. Um, I think that's it actually for this class. So um, please do let me know whenever you have questions about those things. Um, I am here to help. I understand that we don't all have experience with those digital tools and uh, beyond thinking about historical study and how we should approach thinking about the study of the past, um, this class should also help you to bolster some of your uh, technical skills in terms of using digital and online tools. So, so again, please do reach out to me whenever you need help. Uh, my phone number for text messages is in the syllabus. Um, I'm available on Tuesday mornings for student hours uh, between 9 and 11. The Zoom link, I'll show you where that is in just a minute for those. Um, or you can email me at my CNM email address, also in the syllabus, um, or send me a message via Twitter. So I try to be as available as I can be, and uh, I'm looking forward to having a great semester of being communicative and um, working to discuss why history matters and why it's so important for us right now at this moment. All right, so that said, um, hopefully this looks familiar. This is our course landing page in Brightspace. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. Hopefully I don't make anyone sick. Um, please do pay attention to the announcements section. I use that regularly. Um, I'll often create announcements uh, either via video or typed to provide general feedback on an assignment. So just uh, kind of the big picture comments about the main ideas and um, things to think about as we move uh, forward in our class. Um, the next section, this content browser, um, these are all the modules for our course. So you can click into these. I'll show you another way to get at these um, in just a second. But this is maybe one of the quickest ways to get to the Zoom student hours that I just mentioned. So click there. Um, scrolling down, I did want to show you this activity feed. Right now there's nothing in it. Um, it's essentially like a social media feed that lives in our Brightspace course. Um, I'll sometimes put things there, sometimes I'll put things on Twitter um, that are like news stories or uh, coming events, things that might be of interest to you because we're studying um, how to think about our approaches to history. Um, you know, so again, that's there. Um, as is noted in this big blue box here, um, the first thing to do is to go to coursework, click on content, and review the overview and syllabus. As I mentioned, our course lives on Medium, so the syllabus, the course schedule, um, all of the course content essentially is there. Um, this little red one here is because I need to fix a due date. So um, hopefully that won't be there when you log into the course. So in the overview and syllabus, um, I give you a welcome. This will take you to the course syllabus on Medium. You can click here to get a printable version of the syllabus that's on Google Docs. So it's the same thing, but it's just a different version that's, that's easier to print. Um, and here is the course schedule. So the schedule has all the due dates. The due dates also uh, appear in the learning modules that are here on the uh, left-hand side. And uh, so, so what I'm saying is I try to really put all this stuff in front of you as we go so that you won't have any questions about when something's due or when we're working on anything specifically. I've also put the uh, I called them office hours here. I'll probably fix that after I finish this video. Um, student hours, what I really want to emphasize is that this is for you. Um, I try to just make myself available when you have questions. You know, of course, this is something that fits in my schedule, Tuesday mornings from 9 to 11. 
but if you would like to meet via Zoom um, to talk in person, as it were, um, even though it's via Zoom, uh, just let me know and we can make a different appointment. So uh, this is the link to the Zoom room where we will meet. Um, I also have a link to our course hashtag on Twitter, and hopefully that will make more sense as you get into things. This video is embedded here, and I've also put it in the announcement for the start of our course. Um, so everything that you need to get started is here. Please do read the syllabus, um, get to know it. Uh, let me know what questions you have. You can annotate the syllabus because it's on Medium. So that means you can put little comments, you can ask questions. Um, I really encourage you to do that because that's a way that you can make what we're doing yours. Um, also, if there's you know something there that you're just really not clear about, or you think maybe, oh, I have this idea that relates to what we're gonna be doing, um, share it because maybe that's something we can incorporate into our course. All right, so that's what's here in this overview and syllabus section. Of course, um, you know, as I mentioned at the bottom of here, once you're done with this, go to unit one. Um, this is in general, and this is the due date I need to fix. Um, the one assignment that we have that's inside of uh, Brightspace is the discussion board where we introduce ourselves to each other. So um, that's here. Um, every one of these learning modules has a unit overview and objectives. So when you click on that, what it will do is it will take you to, um, well, maybe it will, depending on how quick your internet is. It'll take you to a page that looks like this. Um, you know, and again, essentially every unit overview looks like this one. Unit one, um, you know, as you can see right here, lasts for just one week. Um, most of the units are two weeks. There's one that lasts three weeks. So just do pay attention to what the dates are. There'll always be some notes here that say by uh, the first Sunday of the unit, by the second Sunday of the unit, so that you know uh, when things are due. But, you know, again, you'll have the objectives, you'll have what it is you need to do. But more importantly, you know, if you just look at that, you'll be like, well, I don't know what I need to do. What you have to do is click here to read the unit narrative. And so here is what uh, our course looks like on Medium. So my internet is not being as quick as I'd like it to be this evening, but um, it's still loading. Okay, here we go. So our course on Medium, um, you know, essentially, Brightspace is there so that I can give you grades and I can give you some feedback that is um, not public and is specific to you. Um, but everything that we're doing is out here on Medium. And one of the reasons I did that is I didn't want you to have to buy a textbook. Um, I created and curated the material that we're going to be studying and working with, and I put it up on this website on Medium. But Medium is also cool because you can create posts and a lot of the work that we'll be doing will be added to this website. So just like I created this unit one welcome entry, you can create posts too. Um, and when I tell you to create a medium post, you'll be able to not only add text, but add images, um, images of your own that you can upload from your computer or images that come from Unsplash, which is a free open um, image database. So what you'll do is you'll read through the narrative. And again, this is sort of like a textbook reading. Um, hopefully it's a little more engaging than that. I've tried to make it uh, that way. It has images, but also there will be embedded videos and the activities we'll be doing. Um, unit one is maybe a little more low key than some of those because uh, as it explains here, the, the things that we'll be doing, we'll be introducing ourselves to each other on Brightspace. You'll be getting started with Twitter. Um, here are some in instructions uh, embedded here. So please do click on the links that I provide um, because this is to a Google Sheet where you will add your Medium username so that I'll be able to add you to our course publication. Uh, this document will give you instructions about how to make sure that your Medium posts end up here on our course publication. Um, I'll go back and show you where the video um, tutorials for everything are in Brightspace. So, you know, as you're going along, if the stuff that I've provided here doesn't quite make sense, you can go back to Brightspace. So I have that open in a different tab. 
and you might need to go to table of contents if you're inside of a learning module the way I was. And again, your, your internet uh, speed makes a difference. Um, once you go to the table of contents, you can scroll all the way down here to the bottom and you'll see this video tutorial section. I do want to note that I'm going to be making sure that everything's up to date here. Um, some of these might have some references still to the spring 2021 class. I'll be fixing that as soon as I can. Um, but if there are any of those references, just know we're in fall 2020, uh, 2021. And, um, you know, uh, just, yeah, just make an uh, allowance for that. But if you click here, it'll give you a video tutorial. This one's a document um, and so on. All right, so let me go back over to Medium. So as you keep reading through the Unit 1 narrative, um, again, it will just explain the content, the things we should be thinking about, and it will give you what you need to do as the assignments for our course. So the main assignment for Unit 1 is for you to post your first entry on Medium. Um, I've given you a document that explains how to do that. Uh, but also I've given you a prompt. So there's a rep, an episode from a podcast I really like to listen to. It's in Spanish, but there's an English language transcript that you can read. Um, it's called the Radio Ambulante. And uh, it has to do with the pandemic and why it's important for us to kind of write about, think about, or at least document, even if we're not writing, if you're making a video or you're adding images to your Medium post. Um, this is getting us thinking about why it's important to record our own histories, who we think might read those histories, or I keep saying read because history tends to be text heavy, but more and more we're looking at other, uh, other media for historical uh, preservation. So, you know, again, what you're going to do here is create a post that tells your pandemic story. You can click here to see mine. Um, you can also go back, uh, sorry for the scrolling, um, if you click on this little image here, it'll take you to the homepage of our uh, class on Medium. And so it looks like this once it actually loads. Give it just a second, as usual. There we go. Um, so it'll look like this. Your Medium avatar will be right here. Mine is this guy, Praxis Guerrero. Um, but as you scroll down, you know, you'll see the same. You can get the syllabus. You can get the schedule. You can go to the unit narratives and it showed you how to get to those from Brightspace, but you can go straight to them from Medium. There's a direct link to the research project. That is the final project for our course. So that's something that you don't need to think about right away. It's something you'll be doing during the second half of the course. And the extra mile section, um, that's extra credit uh, kind of work, essentially. The most important things I've also posted right here. So you can get to the schedule, the syllabus, the research project. And then as you look here, these are posts that students from last semester's class added. So once you start adding your posts to Medium, they'll start to populate here and you'll see them and be able to respond to one another. Um, so that's essentially how Medium works. Um, I hope that it's fairly um, intuitive. If you're ever lost, just go back to Brightspace uh, I'm going to click into unit two, but click into the unit that we're currently working on. Um, with all of these, I've given you the dates. So unit two is one of those that lasts for two weeks. We're going to be looking at the field of history, the process of historical thinking, the main topic. Click into unit overview and objectives. And this will give you that kind of straightforward. Um, here is the uh, here are the objectives. Here are the main topics we're working on. Here's what you need to do by the first Sunday, by the second Sunday, and to actually see the stuff that will help you do that, click here to go to the unit narrative. It'll open in a new tab, and this is the unit narrative for unit two. Um, I like quotes as uh, epigraphs for each unit, so um, you'll get to see some of the people that I find inspiring or interesting relative to our topics. Um, and then again, you should see images uh, in both sites that are the same, uh, just for continuity. But as you read through the material here, um, you know this is what you'll be doing 
this is the work, right? This is the textbook reading, essentially. You can click on um, these sources to uh, learn more about history and how we think about change over time in terms of historical interpretations. And then you'll look at these questions and post some tweets. Uh, do note, you know, here, these are students from past terms who have highlighted things. So you can make highlights, but you can also ask questions directly in the text. So to do that, you just highlight the text, then you hit this little speech bubble and it will pop up a response. Um, and so you just type your idea here and hit respond. I'm not gonna do that, but that's the way that you do it. It'll give me a notification so that I can see what you've written. Um, others who are reading this in the class will be able to look and see what you've highlighted, what you've written, so that we can have conversations, not just about the material, but about the class as it unfolds. Um, so that's one of the really cool things, I think, about Medium. Um, as we go along, we'll use tools like Hypothesis. I think that one I didn't mention yet. It's a tool for annotating uh, readings that we can use digitally so we can all write notes right on the different documents that we're reading and have conversations about those. That's something we'll focus on in Unit 3. Um, I'm hoping that these are all tools that will really help us to build a digital community um, since we're not going to be meeting together in a physical classroom. So that's the point. Um, and again, like I said, I'm here to help. Um, please let me know what questions you have. I'm not going to take you through, going back to Brightspace, uh, not going to take you through the entire table of contents because, again, the general structure of the course is what I've just been showing you. So whenever you have any questions about what you should do, come back here to the table of contents, look at this the specific unit that we're working on, click into that, and that will take you to the places you need to go inside of Medium. Before I close this out then, again, once you click on to the Medium homepage, this is what it should look like. Um, this is where you can get the schedule. So that's where you will see the overall schedule for the whole semester and the syllabus. Again, those are two really key and important things. Um, I've updated everything up through Unit 5 so far. Um, I'll be finishing those things in the next couple of days so that the entirety of the class will be up to date for the fall 2021 term. Um, and I'll make sure again, as I mentioned a minute ago, that the video tutorials are up to date. So uh, please let me know what questions you have. Uh, please check in with me whenever you want to talk through something about historical study, uh, historical thinking. And uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you all and I hope we have a great semester together.